A perfect swish, a hole in one, a bicycle kick to the back of the net. Wow, let's see that one again. These are some of the most exciting moments in sports, and none of them would be possible without science. Yep, you heard that right, science. Hi, Andy here. I played a lot of sports growing up. Tennis, swimming, and soccer were some of my favorites. Hey, that's me. Well, a smaller version of me. What I didn't know then was that sports and science go together like peanut butter and jelly. To be successful in sports, you need to use science. Take basketball, for example. The player throws the ball up and gravity pulls it down. To sink a basket, the player needs to think about two things, the angle of the shot and the force behind it. These two things, angle and force, create the arc of the ball, which will determine if it goes in or not. A shot that's aimed too high with too much force will create a tall, skinny arc, and the ball will end up short of the basket. A shot that's aimed too low and with too little force will create an arc that's short and wide. Like Goldilocks, basketball players are looking for an angle that will create an arc that is just right. The end result is nothing but net. Angles and arcs show up in any sport where an athlete is throwing something. But what about sports like high jump? There the athlete needs to throw their entire body over the bar. This takes a lot of strength. And the higher the bar, the more energy the athlete needs to overcome gravity and make the jump. Energy is the ability to do work. So jumping, throwing a shot put, or hitting a ball all take energy. When you throw or hit a ball, energy is transferred from you to the ball. The same thing happens when you play the KiwiCo mini golf game. When the golf club is pulled back like this, energy builds up. When it's let go, the energy is transferred from the club to the marble, which is why it moved. If the hole is farther away, the ball will need a little more energy to make it there. So let's pull back a little more this time and see if we can transfer enough energy for a hole in one. Nailed it! There are a bunch of other ways athletes use science in sports, whether it's using high-tech equipment engineered to help them run faster and jump higher, or special workouts to train their brains and muscles to react faster or strike stronger. The next time you're watching sports, think about the different ways the athletes are using science to improve their performance. And if you play sports, see if science can help you achieve success. Want to make your own mechanical golf game? Just head over to KiwiCo.com. We have lots of hands-on projects that help explain how things work. And if you want to invent your own games and host a mini Olympics, check out our video here.